Listening Part Three, Exercise One. Hi, Scott. How are you? Oh, hi, Amanda. I'm tired. Well, don't go to bed so late. But I don't. I watch sports on TV, and then I go to bed at about nine fifteen. The problem is, I wake up really early. Why's that? I take the boat to school now, and it goes at half past seven in the morning. So my mum wakes us up at a quarter past six. We have breakfast and leave home at seven. Listening Part Three, Exam Task. Listen to Scott talking to his cousin Amanda about his school day. For each question, choose the right answer: A, B, or C. Hi, Scott. How are you? Oh, hi, Amanda. I'm tired. Well, don't go to bed so late. But I don't. I watch sports on TV, and then I go to bed at about nine fifteen. The problem is, I wake up really early. Why's that? I take the boat to school now, and it goes at half past seven in the morning. So my mum wakes us up at a quarter past six. We have breakfast and leave home at seven. So have you changed schools then? Yes, the school on our island is for six to eleven-year-olds. Now I'm twelve. I go to school on another island with my sister Tanya. She's fourteen now. Oh, I see. So, do you get home late in the evening? Quite late. The boat back home is two hours after school. My mum's sister lives near the school, so we go and have dinner at her house. When do you have time to do your homework? We usually find a quiet table on the boat. When we get home, we watch TV. Listen to music or use the computer. And what's your new school like? <sighs> Great. I like my maths teacher best, but the English and sports classes are cool too. Sounds good. When can I come and visit? Speaking Part One, Exercise Four. Anna, tell me about your English teacher. Mrs. Reed, John, tell me about your school day. Well, I wake up at a quarter past eight. I walk to school with my friends. School starts at nine o'clock. After school, I do my homework, and then I watch TV. Unit two, listening part four, exercise three. Hi, Sheila. Oh, hi, Paula. Can you help me with the spelling of the full names of these famous people? Sure. The first one's Johnny Depp. His full name is John, J O H N, Christopher, C H R I S T O P H E R, Depp. D, E, double P. And what about Dakota Fanning? Oh, how do you spell that? Well, her full name is Hannah Dakota Fanning. That's H A double N A H D A K O T A F A double N. I N G. <laughs> Thanks. And this one is Taylor Lautner. I mean Taylor Daniel Lautner. Oh, how do you spell that? <laughs> It's T A Y L O R D A N I E L L A U. T N E R, cool, and that's Jaden Sire Smith, isn't it? Yes, you're right. Do you want me to spell his name too? Yes, please. It's J A D E N S 
Y R E S M I T H. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Paula. Listening Part Four, Exam Task. You will hear a boy, Ben, asking a friend about a cinema club. Listen and complete each question. Hello, Hannah. Hi, Ben. Hannah, I'm thinking of joining the cinema club. You're a member, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's brilliant. When do you meet? We meet once a week on Monday afternoons. What time? Well, some of us have got hockey training from four to five p.m., so the club meets at five fifteen p.m. when everyone can come. That sounds okay. Do you still meet in the library? We've just moved to the computer room, which is opposite the library. It's got a much better screen. Oh yes, I know where it is. What do you do in the club? Well, one of us usually chooses a film. We watch it and then we talk about it. Last week we saw Push with Dakota Fanning. Next week we're going to watch New Moon. You know. The one with Taylor Lautner in it. You should come. How much does it cost? It's one pound sixty a week, or three pound eighty a month. Cool. Who do I need to speak to? Send an email to Jakes at cinemaclub dot com. That's J A Y K E S. Great. I'll do that tonight. Listening Part Four, Exercise Four. Cool. Who do I need to speak to? Send an email to Jakes at cinemaclub dot com. That's J A Y K E S. Great. I'll do that tonight. Speaking Part One, Exercise Five. What do you usually do at the weekend? I listen to music. What other things do you do in your free time? I watch TV. How often do you watch TV? After dinner. Unit three, listening part five, exercise one. Next customer, please. Oh, that's me. Can I help you? Yes. Can I have a fried egg, please? One or two eggs. One egg, please. How much is it? That's one pound seventy-five. Do you want bread and butter with that? Yes, please.、Uh, no, wait. Um, how much is an omelette? That's two pounds twenty-seven, or two pounds eighty with cheese. Okay, I'll have a cheese omelette and a slice of bread and butter, please. Anything to drink? How much is a cup of hot chocolate? All our hot drinks are eighty nine p. And how about a piece of cake too? Oh, okay. How much is it all? So, a cheese omelette, a slice of bread and butter for one pound fifteen, a cup of hot chocolate, and a piece of our special cake for one pound thirty five. That's six pounds nineteen.、Oh. Uh, here you are. Enjoy your meal. Listening part five, exam task. You will hear a teacher talking about a school trip to the Star Cookery School. Listen and complete each question. <laughs> Everyone, shh! Please listen to me for a moment. I want to tell you about the school trip to the cookery school on the sixteenth of February. You have to be outside the school gates at seven forty-five because the bus leaves from there at eight o'clock. There are some great things to see and do at the cookery school. We'll see how you can grow your own vegetables in the science room. We'll learn how to make pizza and chocolate cake in the kitchen, and then we'll eat this food in the dining room.
Now, listen carefully. You need to give me £9.55 before Thursday. But please tell your parents that this includes the bus and £6 for lunch. You don't have to make sandwiches for this trip and you can't take any food into the cookery school anyway. Don't forget, you'll need a pencil and a rubber, but you don't have to bring a notebook. If your parents have any questions, they can phone me at the school or they can email me at ellapets at grantschool.com. Remember, that's e double l a p e double t s. I think that's it for now. Speaking Part Two, Exercise Three. Where's the snack shop? It's opposite the library. What time does it open? It opens at break time. Are the snacks expensive? No, the snacks are cheap. Is there any hot food? Yes, there's soup. How much are the cold drinks? The cans are all fifty p. How can I get more information? You can email Jenny at snackshop.com. Speaking Part Two. Exercise four. Why don't you sell hot drinks like hot chocolate when it's cold? Good idea. Can you email your ideas to me? My email is Jenny at snackshop dot com, and don't forget to visit my website. It's www dot snackshop dot com. Your brother's got a cafe in the park, hasn't he? How can I get more information about it? His website's got lots of information, and there are some great games on it too. That's www.cafe.com, or you can email him at pete@cafe.com. Cool. Unit four, listening part one, exercise three. Listen to question one from the exam task. One. What's Holly doing now? Holly wasn't at swimming practice today. Is she ill? No, she's fine. She's in the mountains with her family. Really? Is she mountain biking again? No, she's learning to climb. She's got a great teacher. Listening part one, exam task. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the right answer: A, B, or C. Two. How much is Jenny's new tennis racket? I love your new tennis shoes. Were they expensive? No, they weren't. They were thirty-five pounds. My racket was more expensive. Oh, really? How much was that? I bought it online for forty pounds. My sister paid forty-five pounds for hers. Now listen again. I love your new tennis shoes. Were they expensive? No, they weren't. They were thirty-five pounds. My racket was more expensive. Oh, really? How much was that? I bought it online for forty pounds. My sister paid forty-five pounds for hers. Three. What time does the hockey match start? Excuse me. What time does the hockey match start? It starts at half past four. What time is it now? Am I late? No, it's only ten past four. Go for a walk and come back at twenty past four. Now listen again. Excuse me. What time does the hockey match start? It starts at half past four. What time is it now? Am I late? No, it's only ten past four. Go for a walk and come back at twenty past four.
Four. What is Simon drinking? I'm thirsty after that race. This lemonade is really good. I bought it over there in the cafe. Is there any juice? I don't think so, but they've got hot chocolate if you prefer that. Now listen again. I'm thirsty after that race. This lemonade is really good. I bought it over there in the cafe. Is there any juice? I don't think so, but they've got hot chocolate if you prefer that. Five. Who is Maisie's table tennis coach? That's my table tennis coach over there. Who? Is he that blonde man over there with glasses? No, he's got dark hair and he doesn't wear glasses. Oh, I can see him now. He's standing over there next to Brendan. Now listen again. That's my table tennis coach over there. Who? Is he that blonde man over there with glasses? No, he's got dark hair and he doesn't wear glasses. Oh, I can see him now. He's standing over there next to Brendan. Speaking Part Two, Exercise Three. Date fashion show. It's on Saturday, the first of May. Where fashion show? It's at the Truman Center. What see? You can see clothes made by young people. Cost? It's two pounds fifty for under sixteens. How get there? You can take the bus or train. More information? You can call or text double six double one. Speaking Part Two, Exercise Four. When is the fashion show? It's on Saturday, the first of May. Where is the fashion show? It's at the Truman Center. What can I see there? You can see clothes made by young people. How much is it? It's two pounds fifty for under sixteens. How can I get there? You can take the bus or train. How can I get more information? You can call or text double six double one. Unit five, listening part five, exercise three. My birthday was on the fifth of April, but we didn't leave for Los Angeles until the ninth of April. I remember the day well. We left on Monday evening, and we got there on Tuesday morning. The flight took about eleven hours. We were tired on the first day, so we didn't do very much. We went on a Hollywood tour on Friday. But the best day was Saturday because we saw the LA Lakers play a basketball match at Staples Center. We got back four days ago, and I started school again two days ago. Listening Part Five, Exam Task. You will hear some information about a tour for young people. Listen and complete each question. Our Hollywood tour for young people is called "I Love Hollywood." Join us for an exciting day on July twenty-third at ten a.m. We also have an adult tour on July twenty-fifth at eleven a.m. Meet at our office at six thousand Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard is home to famous Hollywood cinemas. But of course, in America, we don't say cinema; we say theater. We will visit the Dolby Theater at 6801 Hollywood Boulevard, and the Chinese Theater, which is next to it. Next, we'll have burgers at Lucky Devil's Restaurant. Maybe we'll see somebody famous there. But a lot of the stars prefer to eat salad and healthy food in Beverly Hills. In the afternoon, we'll take a short bus trip to the stadium where California's best basketball team plays. 
As part of the tour of their stadium, you will watch one of their matches. Sorry, we don't have tickets for baseball or American football matches. The price for this very special tour is $37 for adults and $27 for under 16s. We suggest you book your place soon as this tour is very popular. Speaking Part 1 Exercise 4 1. What did you do yesterday after school? I went to the sports centre. What did you have for dinner? We had soup and bread. What time did you go to bed? I went to bed at 10 o'clock. Thank you. 2. What did you do yesterday after school? Go library, do homework. What did you have for dinner? Pasta. What time did you go to bed? In 10 o'clock. Thank you. Unit 6. Listening. Part 2. Exercise 2. Did you have a good time at the cinema? Yeah, but my friends were late. Sandra missed the bus, so she went on foot. Really? What about Dina? Did she walk too? No, she had lunch late, so she borrowed her brother's bike. And Maria? She's always early. Not this time. She took the bus. I told her it was quicker to cycle, but she didn't listen. Listening, part two. Exam task. Listen to Ethan talking to his mum about his family. How are Ethan's family getting to his birthday party? For questions 1 to 5, write a letter A to H next to each person. I'm home. Where are you? Hi, Ethan. I'm in the kitchen. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Mum. But where is everyone else? Why are they so late for my party? Well, your sister has football practice until 6pm, then she's coming home by bus. Why doesn't she take the tram? It's much faster. And where's Dad? He phoned 15 minutes ago. Your grandma missed the half past five bus, so your dad is going to drive her. Is Grandad coming in Dad's car too? He had to work this afternoon, so he's going to take the underground. It's probably quicker than the car anyway. Oh, I can hear a motorbike. Is that Uncle Tom? I spoke to him this morning. He's going to take a taxi after his meeting. Is Ursula coming with him, or is she taking the underground? Your cousin Ursula's cycling here right now. She'll be here in ten minutes. Don't worry. Oh, great. Who else is coming? My sister. Aunt May? Yes. She's getting the tram from her house to the train station at the end of our road. <laughs> Mum, what's that noise in the living room? Surprise! Oh. Happy birthday! <laughs> Speaking, part two, exercise three. Lucia, here is some information about a helicopter tour. Marco, you don't know anything about the helicopter tour, so ask Lucia some questions about it. Use these words to help you. Do you understand? Yes, of course. Now, Marco, ask Lucia your questions about the helicopter tour and Lucia... You answer them. Where is the helicopter tour? It's in Sydney, Australia. How much does the tour cost? Can you repeat that, please? Mm. Is it expensive? No, it's only $99 per person. Is there a tour every day? Sorry, I don't understand. Can I go on the tour on Fridays? No, 
It's on Saturdays and Sundays. What can I see on the tour? You can see Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Opera House, and more from the air. How can I get more information? Sorry. Is there a telephone number? Yes, you can call or text four five six double seven two. Thank you. Unit seven. Listening. Part five. Exercise four. One. So bring your instruments on Thursday for the final practice before the school concert. Remember, the concert is next Monday. Two. I really enjoy my history class because the teacher is very good, but I think I like geography best because I like learning about different countries and people from those places. Three. Listen carefully, please. Today, your maths class will be one hour earlier at a quarter past eleven, because later at twelve fifteen, we've got a very important visitor from the music school. Four. You all need to buy this book for your English class. The price is four pounds ninety nine in the bookshop. But we're selling it here in the school for the cheaper price of three pounds fifty. Five. This year we're going to the zoo with our science teacher. I don't know why we can't go to the water park again. We had a great time there last year. Listening part five, exam task. You will hear a teacher talking to her new class. Listen and complete each question. Hello and welcome to your first day at the Leonardo da Vinci School of Art and Drama. My name's Amy Bird, and I'm your teacher for this year. I'd like you to listen carefully to this important information. You must all be here in the classroom at nine o'clock. Every morning, I will check your names, and the first class begins at a quarter past nine. If you can't come to school, your parents should write a note, or they can call here on seven double eight five four two one. You must try to do all the work you miss. Ask a classmate for their phone number so you can call them. In the mornings, you will all be together in this classroom for English, maths, and science. In the afternoon, those of you on the art program will do art and music, and those of you on the drama program will do dance and drama. For your afternoon classes, you should wear trainers. You can't dance, sing, or act well if you're wearing uncomfortable boots, can you? And finally, we have school sweaters, which are for sale in reception. The normal price is twelve pounds fifty, but they're only nine pounds seventy-five. For those in their first year at the school, I think that's all for now.、Uh, any questions? Speaking Part One, Exercise Two. Hi, I'm Wayne. What's your name? Hi, I'm Flor. That's an unusual name. How do you spell it? F L O R. It's a Spanish name. I'm from Argentina. Where do you come from? I'm from Cape Town in South Africa. You can speak English really well. Do you study English at school? Yes, we have English on Tuesdays and Thursdays.
We also do our history lessons in English. What subjects do you study?、Uh, the usual subjects like maths, English, science. We also study French. Which subjects do you like best? I love art and music. That's why I'm here at this summer school. What about you? I love maths and computers, so I'm going to do the computer course. Really? Oh, I don't like computers very much, and I'm terrible at maths. <laughs> Speaking Part One, Exercise Four. Carla, do you study English at school? Yes, I do. We have English on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Which subjects do you like best? I like art and music. Why? Because I'm good at drawing. I like music because I can play the piano well. What do you like about your school? I've got a lot of friends there, and the teachers are very friendly. Thank you. Do you study English at school, John? Yes, and I also go to a language school in the afternoon. What other subjects do you study? I study maths, art, music, history, science. What do you like about your school? My friends. Why? Because we have a lot of fun together. Unit Eight, Listening Part Two, Exercise Three. What are you doing, Taylor? I'm reading a message from Guy. Guy, where is he? He isn't having a good time on holiday. He says the music in the disco is terrible, and he forgot to pack his sweater, and it's really cold at night. Oh no! Can't he borrow one from his brother? From Matt. He's in Italy learning Italian, and Matt forgot to take his Italian dictionary, so he had to buy a new one, and it cost twenty pounds. Really? What a family! <laughs> That's nothing. Did you hear about Naomi? She's also in Italy. No. What did she do? She left her phone at home. When she got to the airport. The Italian family wasn't waiting for her. She didn't have their phone number because her address book is on the phone. What did she do? Well, she found the information desk, and they phoned her mum, and her mum just. Listening part two, exam task. Listen to Bella talking to her dad about her friends. Where did her friend stay on holiday? For questions one to five, write a letter A to H next to each friend. Bella, I've got a week's holiday in July. Why don't we go to the countryside and take the tent? Oh no! My friend Ivan slept in a tent last July, and it rained all week. But I like the rain. Dad, Alfie went to Edinburgh in Scotland last year. They rented a flat in the city centre. He said Edinburgh Castle was amazing. No, you know I don't really like cities. I was talking to Erica yesterday. She said they stayed in a small family hotel in a little village in France. It was just like home. Why don't we go there? <sighs> I'm not sure. What about your friend Tanya? What did she do? Oh yeah. She stayed with her family in a castle on Malta. They drove to Italy and took a boat to Malta from there. That sounds like a lot of driving. Any other ideas? Well, my friend Stephen went to Thailand with his dad. They were looking for a hotel when a friend of his dad invited them to stay in his house. Yes, but we've only got a week, and Thailand is too far. I know. Lynn's family stayed near Stanton's farm in a guest house. We could take our bikes and go cycling. Now that's a good idea. Speaking part two, exercise one. Where is it, Eva? It's in Lake City in California. 
Is it open in the summer? It's open from the 1st of May to the 7th of September. What can I do there? You can see some of the tallest trees in the world. That sounds amazing. How much is it? It's only $35 per car and $5 per person. Cool. How can I get more information? Look at their website. It's www.americaholiday.com. Unit 9. Reading Part 3B. Exercise 2. Let's go to the centre this weekend. That's a good idea. What's on? Look at this programme. There's a new adventure film on at four on Saturday. Oh, no thanks. I saw it last week. Hmm. What about the dance competition at six o'clock? I'm not sure. Why don't we go to the concert on Friday night? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my cousins on Friday. Uh, are you free on Sunday? How about the circus? Great! Shall we meet at the bus stop at two o'clock? Brilliant! See you there. Listening Part 4 Exercise 3 Hi! Saeed! Saeed! Oh, hi Katya. Are you reading Sports Today magazine again? No, I'm reading Teen Week. Look at this advertisement. What's it for? Well, you know we did an audition last year for the school show? Well, this is an audition for a TV show. Shall we do it? <laughs> yes, it was fun, but oh, I'm not sure. Come on. We did really well last year. Why don't you play the guitar and I'll play the violin? Oh, all right. <laughs> What do we need to do next? Do we have to send an email? Yes, I'll send the email, but we also need to practice. Let's start tomorrow at two o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. Can we meet later at five? Great. Oh, where can we practice? The music school is closed tomorrow. Don't worry. We can practice at the sports centre. Cool. See you tomorrow, then. Listening Part 4. Exam Task. You will hear a boy, Saeed, talking to Katia about an audition for a TV show. Listen and complete each question. Hi, Katia. Hi, Saeed. I've got all the information about the audition for the TV show. Cool. It's going to be on Wednesday the 14th. I hope that's after lessons. You know we shouldn't miss any. No, it's fine. Lessons finish at four and the audition is at half past six, so it'll be fine. OK. How are we going to get there? Oh, the bus is so slow. <laughs> Don't worry. My mum's going to take us in her car. She has to come with us anyway, because we're under 18. Great! Is she going to collect me from my flat? She'll come to school and take us from there. OK. Do we have to take anything special? We can't take photos, so don't bring your camera. But don't forget a snack. We may be there for hours. Hmm. And where do we go when we get there? When we get there... We have to ask for the TV show receptionist. Her name is... Uh, is... Oh, I wrote her name here. Ah, yes, it's Paula Hollard. That's H-O-L-L-A-R-D. Oh, I'm really excited, Saeed. <laughs> Me too. Speaking Part 1. Exercise 5. Now... Ella, what are you going to do at the weekend? With friends. Thank you. Emir, what are your plans for next week? I'm going to go to school, of course. I'm also going to see a film at the cinema with my friends.
Unit Ten, Listening Part One, Exercise Four. Where is George's ball? I can't find the ball. It was under the table a minute ago. Yes, and then Tom threw it behind that gate. Look, it's there in the tree. Why is it there, George? The answer is A. Listening Part One, Exam Task. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the right answer: A, B, or C. One. Where will Joel and his family stay this year? Dad, can we go to that hotel next to the river again this year? Sorry, Joel. Your mother didn't like it very much. How about that place on top of that hill? We stayed there two years ago. That's full. So Mum and I found one in Great Woods. I booked it last night. Now listen again. Dad, can we go to that hotel next to the river again this year? Sorry, Joel. Your mother didn't like it very much. How about that place on top of that hill? We stayed there two years ago. That's full. So Mum and I found one in Great Woods. I booked it last night. Two. How much do Daniela's walking boots cost on the website? I saw some great new walking boots in town today, but they were a hundred and twenty pounds. Why don't you look online? Your cousin bought some boots for a hundred pounds. I looked at www.bestboots.com, and the cheapest ones were a hundred and thirty pounds. Oh, really? Let's go and buy them in the shop in town then. Now listen again. I saw some great new walking boots in town today, but they were a hundred and twenty pounds. Why don't you look online? Your cousin bought some boots for a hundred pounds. I looked at www.bestboots.com, and the cheapest ones were a hundred and thirty pounds. Oh, really? Let's go and buy them in the shop in town then. Three. What time does the park close today? Excuse me. What time is it? It's five thirty. Really? Does the park close at half past six? It's Sunday today, so it shuts at six. It stays open later on Saturdays. Now listen again. Excuse me. What time is it? It's five thirty. Really? Does the park close at half past six? It's Sunday today, so it shuts at six. It stays open later on Saturdays. Four. What will they do in the afternoon? That was great. I love windsurfing on this lake. Yes, it was. Ah, oh, what's next? After lunch, we're going to build a treehouse. Cool. And tomorrow we're going mountain biking. I love being outdoors. Now listen again. That was great. I love windsurfing on this lake. Yes, it was. Ah, oh, what's next? After lunch, we're going to build a treehouse. Cool. And tomorrow we're going mountain biking. I love being outdoors. Five. Where are Dad's keys? I can't find my car keys. I thought I left them on that bag. <sighs> Look on the floor. Maybe you dropped them. They're not here. I think they may still be inside the car. I'll look. <sighs> oh, you're right, Dad. Here they are. Now listen again. I can't find my car keys. I thought I left them on that bag. <sighs> look on the floor. Maybe you dropped them. They're not here. I think they may still be inside the car. I'll look. <sighs> oh, you're right, Dad. Here they are. 
Speaking Part Two, Exercise Two. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Callum. What are you reading? It's some information about an adventure weekend. Oh, what can you do there? You can try new outdoor activities. Cool. Where is it? It's in Wellington. Great. That's not far from here. How much does it cost? It's three hundred dollars for a weekend. When can we do it? It says here we can do it in spring or autumn. Okay, but is it for young people? Yes, it's for young people aged twelve to sixteen. Sounds good. How can we get more information? Have they got a website? Yes, it's www.wildweekend.com. I'll look at it tonight if you like. Thanks, Callum. Unit Eleven, Listening Part Three, Exercise Three. I've just done the most amazing healthy living day at the sports centre. Cool, but what's a healthy living day? Well, you learn to live in a healthy way. Everyone does three activities. In the morning, you can choose two different indoor activities, and in the afternoon, you can try one activity outdoors. I had great fun mountain biking in the afternoon. Listening Part Three, Exam Task. Listen to Linda talking to her friend Craig about a healthy living day at a sports centre. For each question, choose the right answer. A, B, or C. I've just done the most amazing healthy living day at the sports centre. Cool, but what's a healthy living day? Well, you learn to live in a healthy way. Everyone does three activities. In the morning, you can choose two different indoor activities, and in the afternoon, you can try one activity outdoors. I had great fun mountain biking in the afternoon. Sounds like hard work. Why did you do it? I wanted to do a new activity, so I went with my cousin Georgia. She doesn't do enough exercise, and she wanted to try a different sport. We made lots of new friends. Were you both really tired when you finished? Georgia was, and she didn't feel very well. I was okay. But I needed something to drink. How much was it? Was it expensive? No, it was twenty pounds for adults, fifteen pounds for under sixteens. But we're members, so it was only ten pounds for us. Hmm, that's not bad. So when's the next day? I'd love to go. I know I'm free most Saturdays after the fourteenth of April. Oh. I've just booked a place for July the fifth, but I think the next one is on the twenty-eighth of May. Brilliant! I'll come to the same one as you. Are you going to go cycling again? Not this time. I'm going to do advanced skateboarding. I wanted to try windsurfing, but that group is full. Wow! I'd like to do that too. Speaking Part One. Exercise two. Good morning, I'm Ellie. Before we start, I'd like to ask you some questions, please. Okay. Now, what's your name? It's William, but my friends call me Billy. I'll put Billy then. And what's your surname, Billy? It's Bladden. How do you spell that? It's B L A double D E N. Where do you live? I live here in Petersdale, at fifty-four Hendon Street. That's H E N D O N. And how long have you lived there? For about four years, I think. When were you born? The twenty-fourth of May, nineteen ninety-nine. Am I too young for the club? No, that's fine. We've got a special program for kids of your age. What school do you go to? I go to Petersdale High School. 
That's P E T E R S D A L E. What sports do you like? I like team sports like hockey and basketball. Now, Billy, what's your favourite food? I like salad, fish, and vegetables best. That sounds healthy. <laughs> okay, have you got any health problems? No, I don't think so. Now the last question. Tell me something about your weekend. Well, I often get up early on Saturday and meet my friends. We sometimes ride our bikes or go to the skate park. On Saturday afternoon, I sometimes go to the cinema with my family. I love cartoons. <laughs> On Sunday, I usually stay at home and I do my homework. Thanks, Billy. I think we have the perfect sports program for you. On Tuesdays, you'll do. Speaking Part One, Exercise Four. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name? It's Katarina. And what's your surname? It's Petrova. How do you spell that? Sorry. How do you spell that? Ah, it's P E T R O V A. Where do you come from? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Where do you live? Sorry, I live in the Czech Republic. Do you study English at school? Yes, I do. What subjects do you like best? I like sport. Why? Because I love running, and I'm good at it. What's your favorite meal of the day? Can you say that again, please? What's your favorite meal of the day? My favorite meal, I like dinner best. I think. What do you normally have for dinner? We often have soup or salad. Who usually cooks in your house? My mom, or my dad, or sometimes I cook. Tell me something about your weekend. Well, I often go running. On Saturday morning, with my dad, in the afternoon, I meet my friends, and we go to the town center. On Sunday, we sometimes have lunch at my grandmother's house. Thank you, Katerina. In the next part, Unit Twelve, Listening Part Two, Exercise Four. I've just seen Malcolm. He's got a new mobile phone. No, he hasn't. It's his brother's. But his MP3 player is new. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. It was his sister's birthday yesterday. What did she get? Who, Katie? She usually asks for DVDs, but this year she got a printer. Cool. And what about your friend Pete? Has he spent his birthday money yet? Yes, he has. He wanted to buy a games console, but he bought a DVD instead. Really? We've got an old games console he can have. Oh, that's true. My friend Rita has just bought a new games console. It's amazing. You can even watch DVDs on it. Listening part two, exam task. Listen to Helen talking to a friend about her family. What is each person's favorite thing? For questions one to five, write a letter A to H next to each person. Hi, Helen. What's the matter? I've just broken my dad's CD player, and it's his favorite thing. Oh no! Your family love new technology, don't they? Yes. It started when my mum bought a digital camera. She likes it more than anything else. Then we had to buy a laptop to look at the photos. And I suppose your sister's favourite thing is the laptop. 
Well, she likes playing games on it, but I think she prefers our TV. She spends hours watching cartoons on it. Is your brother's MP3 player still his favourite thing? No, now it's his mobile. He's had it since his birthday. What did he do with the MP3 player? He gave it to our grandma so she could listen to the news. Then she was given a digital radio. She says that's her favourite thing. She can listen to programmes from all over the world. Oh. Does your grandfather still get DVDs from the library? He doesn't need to. We taught him how to download films, and now he says our laptop is the best thing in the world. <laughs> Speaking Part 2. Exercise 1. Hi, Inga. How are you? Hi, Max. Not bad. And you? OK. Look, you've just done a computer course, haven't you? Yes. I did one two weeks ago. It was brilliant. I'd like to do a course with my brother. Is it for children? Yes. It's for 11 to 16-year-olds. Great. And what do you do on the course? Well, you're taught how to make web pages. Sounds good. How many students are there per teacher? That's the best thing. There are only four, so you get a lot of help. And of course, the teachers are really good. Cool. How much is it? Is it expensive? Not really. It's £15 for each class, so if you do all three... It's £45. And when does it start? Do you mean the date or the time? The date. Oh, I think the next course starts on the 6th of June, but you'll have to check that. How can I get more information? The phone number is 454-699. Thanks, Inga. Practice test. Listening part one. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the right answer, A, B or C. Here is an example. How will the boy get to Ben's house? Mum, can you drive me to Ben's house this morning? No, because Dad's got the car. Why can't you walk? Because it's going to rain. Look at the clouds. I'll take the bus. It stops near Ben's house. OK. The answer is B. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. How will the girl's mother pay for the CD? Can I have this CD, please? OK. Are you paying with cash? My mum's going to pay. She's coming now. But will you take a cheque? She's forgotten her credit card. Of course. Now listen again. Can I have this CD, please? OK. Are you paying with cash? My mum's going to pay. She's coming now. But will you take a cheque? She's forgotten her credit card. Of course. 2. What time does Marley's Cafe close? My friends and I are going to Marley's Cafe after Tennis Club, Dad. But it closes at 5 o'clock. You won't have much time there. No, it's changed. It's open until 7 now. But I'll be home at about 6, I think. All right. That's fine. Now listen again. My friends and I are going to Marley's Cafe after Tennis Club, Dad. But it closes at five o'clock. You won't have much time there. No, it's changed. It's open until seven now. But I'll be home at about six, I think. All right. That's fine. Three. Where will they have their picnic? We can sit by the river for our picnic, Dad. Look, there's a nice place on the grass. It's too wet. How about on that big rock by the tree? Yeah, OK. But can we go in the boat before we have the picnic? Come on, then. Now listen again. 
We can sit by the river for a picnic, Dad. Look, there's a nice place on the grass. It's too wet. How about on that big rock by the tree? Yeah, OK. But can we go in the boat before we have the picnic? Come on, then. 4. What is too small for the girl? Is that your T-shirt from Grandma? It looks really nice on you. Yes, it's just right. But the skirt she gave me isn't big enough. I'll have to ask her to change it. What about the hat Grandma gave you? It's quite large on me, but I like it. Now listen again. Is that your T-shirt from Grandma? It looks really nice on you. Yes, it's just right. But the skirt she gave me isn't big enough. I'll have to ask her to change it. What about the hat Grandma gave you? It's quite large on me, but I like it. 5. What does Donna want for dinner? I'm cooking fish for dinner, Donna. Do you want potatoes with it? Uh, could we have pasta? We haven't had that for ages. Of course. I'm glad you didn't ask for rice. We haven't got any. <laughs> Can we have a bit of salad too? Now listen again. I'm cooking fish for dinner, Donna. Do you want potatoes with it? Uh, could we have pasta? We haven't had that for ages. Of course. I'm glad you didn't ask for rice. We haven't got any. <laughs> Can we have a bit of salad too? This is the end of part one. Practice test. Listening, part two. Now look at part two. Listen to Sandy talking to her mum about snacks. What snacks do her friends want? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Sandy, have you asked your friends what snacks they want before you all go to the cinema? Yes, I wrote it down. Great. First you, Sandy. I guess you want some banana cake? Of course. A big piece, please. Right. Who else wants cake? No one. Some of them want fruit. Kate does. She's just had some chocolate, so she wants a nice healthy apple now. That green one looks nice. OK. What about Anna? She always has cheese, doesn't she? She loves cheese, but she's asked for an orange today. Right. Does Eric want fruit too? He wants some bread and butter. He's really hungry because he only had a few biscuits for his lunch. OK. I'll cut two slices for him. What about Eric's friend, Leo? He likes some biscuits, but the ones without chocolate in them. OK. So there's only one more person. Jade? Yes. She asked for a banana if we've got one. Or an apple, if not. We have got one. Here it is. I've put everything on two big plates. Shall I help you carry them into the living room? Thanks, Mum. Now listen again. Sandy, have you asked your friends what snacks they want before you all go to the cinema? Yes, I wrote it down. Great. First you, Sandy. I guess you want some banana cake. Of course. A big piece, please. Right. Who else wants cake? No one. Some of them want fruit. Kate does. She's just had some chocolate, so she wants a nice healthy apple now. That green one looks nice. OK. What about Anna? She always has cheese, doesn't she? She loves cheese, but she's asked for an orange today. Right. Does Eric want fruit too? He wants some bread and butter. He's really hungry because he only had a few biscuits for his lunch. OK. I'll cut 
two slices for him. What about Eric's friend, Leo? He likes some biscuits, but the ones without chocolate in them. OK. So there's only one more person. Jade? Yes. She asked for a banana if we've got one, or an apple if not. We have got one. Here it is. I've put everything on two big plates. Shall I help you carry them into the living room? Thanks, Mum. This is the end of part two. Practice test. Listening, part three. Now look at part three. Listen to Ahmed talking to his friend Lizzie about football and swimming. For each question, choose the right answer, A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. How was the football match you went to see on Saturday, Ahmet? Not bad, thanks, Lizzie. It was a great game, but my team lost 2-1. They played very well, though. So what happened? Why didn't they win, then? Well, our best player scored the goal after only 10 minutes. But he only played for 20 minutes because he fell and hurt his foot. So, the 70 minutes after that were difficult for the team. Yes. Did you go to the match with your dad and your sister? That's right. My sister never misses a match. She knows more about the team than we do now. Really? Does your sister play football too? Yes, she does. She's in quite a good girls' team. Oh, which one? My cousin plays for the East Side team. Is that the same one? No. My sister's is called Kings Park. Their club's in Old Town. But she's played matches against Eastside before. Maybe she knows your cousin. Perhaps. You don't play football, do you, Ahmet? You're a swimmer. I am. I have swimming practice three times a week, and I study the other two weekday nights. I've got exams soon, so I don't have any evenings free to play football. Right. Are you going swimming now? Not now. First, I'm going to the library to get some books. And then I'm going home for dinner. I'll go to the pool after that. OK. See you soon. Now listen again. How was the football match you went to see on Saturday, Ahmet? Not bad, thanks, Lizzie. It was a great game, but my team lost 2-1. They played very well, though. So what happened? Why didn't they win then? Well, our best player scored the goal after only 10 minutes. But he only played for 20 minutes because he fell and hurt his foot. So the 70 minutes after that were difficult for the team. Yes. Did you go to the match with your dad and your sister? That's right. My sister never misses a match. She knows more about the team than we do now. Really? Does your sister play football too? Yes, she does. She's in quite a good girls team. Oh, which one? My cousin plays for the East Side team. Is that the same one? No. My sister's is called Kings Park. Their club's in Old Town. But she's played matches against East Side before. Maybe she knows your cousin. Perhaps. You don't play football, do you, Ahmet? You're a swimmer. I am. I have swimming practice three times a week, and I study the other two weekday nights. I've got exams soon, so I don't have any evenings free to play football. Right. Are you going swimming now? Not now. First, I'm going to the library to get some books, and then I'm going home for dinner. I'll go to the pool after that. OK. See you soon. This is the end of part three. Practice test. Listening. Part 4. Now look at part 4. You will hear a mother and son 
talking about a surf camp. Listen and complete each question. You will hear the conversation twice. Billy, I want to tell you about your surf camp. Oh, yes. When is it? In August, for three days, the 11th to the 13th. OK. And the camp's by the sea. But near which beach? It's not far from Rowdell Beach. What? How do you spell that, Mum? I want to look at it online. R-O-W-D-L-E. And that's where your lessons will be. OK. Will I be in a big class? No, in yours, class 10, there'll be just six of you learning to surf, with two teachers. Great. And what do I need to take to lessons? Just a towel. You wear your swimming costume, of course, and Surf Camp gives you the board. Brilliant. And what happens in the evenings? Games on the beach and singing. You can choose which activity to do. Sounds good. Anything else? Yes, you can get nice surf camp bags. They're £11.50. Or sweatshirts for £9.50. You need a new bag. Yes. Can you get me one, please? OK. Now listen again. Billy, I want to tell you about your surf camp. Oh, yes. When is it? In August, for three days. The 11th to the 13th. OK. And the camp's by the sea. But near which beach? It's not far from Rowdell Beach. What? How do you spell that, Mum? I want to look at it online. R-O-W-D-L-E. And that's where your lessons will be. OK. Will I be in a big class? No, in yours, class 10, there'll be just six of you learning to surf, with two teachers. Great. And what do I need to take to lessons? Just a towel. You wear your swimming costume, of course, and Surf Camp gives you the board. Brilliant. And what happens in the evenings? Games on the beach and singing. You can choose which activity to do. Sounds good. Anything else? Yes, you can get nice surf camp bags. They're £11.50. Or sweatshirts for £9.50. You need a new bag. Yes. Can you get me one, please? OK. This is the end of part four. Practice test. Listening, part five. Now look at part five. You will hear an advertisement for a new clothes shop. Listen and complete each question. You will hear the information twice. If you're a teenager who loves clothes, then this is the shop for you. The name of our new shop is Sweet Stuff, and we're in the centre of the town. Our shop is in Market Street, the best place to get all the newest fashions. You can't miss it. It's the big shop opposite the park, right next to the cinema. For this week only, we're selling boys' jeans at the amazing price of £19.75. That's about £10 cheaper than anywhere else. We're open Monday to Saturday from 9 o'clock and you can come and shop until 8 on Thursdays. The other days, we close at 6. If you want to have a look at the clothes we sell, why not visit our website? You can also order clothes on the site and collect them from the shop. The address is www.shocolate.com That's www.shocolit.com See you soon! Now listen again. If you're a teenager who loves clothes, then this is the shop for you. The name of our new shop is Sweet Stuff, and we're in the centre of the town. Our shop is in Market Street, the best place to get all the newest fashions. 
You can't miss it. It's the big shop opposite the park, right next to the cinema. For this week only, we're selling boys' jeans at the amazing price of £19.75. That's about £10 cheaper than anywhere else. We're open Monday to Saturday from 9 o'clock and you can come and shop until 8 on Thursdays. The other days, we close at 6. If you want to have a look at the clothes we sell, why not visit our website? You can also order clothes on the site and collect them from the shop. The address is www.shocolate.com. That's www.shocalit.com. See you soon! This is the end of part five. Unit one. Vocabulary. Exercise four. One. Daisy has got a pair of trainers to wear for a basketball lesson. 2. Freddy has got some pencils for drawing pictures. 3. Daisy has got a diary to write homework in. 4. Freddy has got a mobile to call Mum at lunchtime. 5. Daisy has got some money in a blue purse. 6. Freddy has got a snack because teenagers are always hungry. 7. Daisy has got a towel for a swimming lesson. Unit 1. Listening, Part 3. Listen to Kelly talking to her mum about her violin lessons. For each question, choose the right answer, A, B or C. Kelly, I've just spoken to your violin teacher. You haven't got a lesson this week. Is she ill, Mum? No, she's on a course because she's doing an exam next month. So, when's my next lesson? It'll be the 15th. You're missing this week, the 8th of August, and on the 22nd your teacher's away again. Right. She said you need a new music book, too. Oh, OK. Where can we get that? Well, they haven't got any music at the library. I've looked before. The bookshop's cheaper than the music shop, so we'll get it there. OK. Which day? How about Thursday? Not tomorrow. I work late on Tuesdays and you've got dance club on Wednesday. Fine. Will you pick me up after school? No, I'll only finish work at quarter to four, so go home first. I'll pick you up there at four o'clock. Then we'll get to the shop about quarter past four. Right. Um, can we have our dinner in a cafe afterwards? <laughs> OK. You know the burger restaurant's closed, but we can go and have a pizza. The fish cafe is too far from the shops. Great! Now listen again. Kelly, I've just spoken to your violin teacher. You haven't got a lesson this week. Is she ill, Mum? No, she's on a course because she's doing an exam next month. So, when's my next lesson? It'll be the 15th. You're missing this week, the 8th of August, and on the 22nd your teacher's away again. Right. She said you need a new music book too. Oh, OK. Where can we get that? Well, they haven't got any music at the library. I've looked before. The bookshop's cheaper than the music shop, so we'll get it there. OK. Which day? How about Thursday? Not tomorrow. I work late on Tuesdays and you've got dance club on Wednesday. Fine. Will you pick me up after school? No, I'll only finish work at quarter to four, so go home first. I'll pick you up there at four o'clock. Then we'll get to the shop about quarter past four. Right. Um, can we have our dinner in a cafe afterwards? <laughs> OK. You know the burger restaurant's closed, 
but we can go and have a pizza. The fish cafe is too far from the shops. Great! Unit 2. Grammar. Exercise 4. Did you go to music club yesterday? No, they played jazz, and I don't like jazz much. What kind of music do you like? Rock, pop, classical, most kinds, but not jazz. I'd like to come too. Can I just come, or do I have to ask the teacher first? Just come when you want to. Would you like to come with me next week? Yes, please. I'd like to join so I can learn to play an instrument. Do you like all kinds of music? I like modern music best, but I'd like to learn more about classical and jazz too. Music Club will be perfect for you. Unit 2. Vocabulary. Exercise 4. 1. Ellie loves watching films. Maisie hates watching films. 2. Ellie hates cooking. Maisie loves cooking. 3. Ellie enjoys singing. Maisie doesn't like singing. 4. Ellie likes going to concerts. Maisie doesn't enjoy going to concerts. 5. Ellie is very good at playing computer games. Maisie is terrible at playing computer games. 6. Ellie likes dancing more than doing sports. Maisie prefers doing sports to dancing. 7. Ellie thinks history is boring. Maisie is interested in history. Unit 2. Listening Part 4. Exercise 1. 1. Which day does Stamp Club meet this week? On Thursday. 2. When do you usually go shopping? On Saturdays. 3. How do you spell your surname? C A P O N A C R E. 4. How do you spell your first name? C A M I L L A. 5. What time does the bus leave this evening? Quarter to seven. Six. How much is the book? Three dollars fifty. Unit two. Listening part four. Exam task. You will hear a girl, Becky, telling her friend Milo about a cookery club. Listen and complete each question. Milo, did you know Cookery Club's starting again? Really? Is it on Wednesday, like last year? No, Friday. Mr Bath told me to tell everyone. OK. Are many people doing it this year? The new cookery room's got 12 cookers, so Mr Bath says 20 people can join. Mm. Did he say what we're going to cook this week? He's teaching us to make bread. And he'll bring some soup for us to have with it. Great. Mr Bath won't be here next week, so Miss Dunner will show us how to make something. Who? How do you spell her name? She's my science teacher. It's D-O-N-A-G-H. OK. So, is it the same time as last year? Yes. School finishes at 3.30 and we all need time to get to the cookery room. So we'll meet at 3.45, like last year. Right. And how much is it? It'll be different every week, but not more than £4.50. This week, it's £3.75. Oh, OK. See you there. Now listen again. Milo, did you know Cookery Club's starting again? Really? Is it on Wednesday, like last year? No, Friday. 
Mr Bath told me to tell everyone. OK. Are many people doing it this year? The new cookery room's got 12 cookers, so Mr Bath says 20 people can join. Mm. Did he say what we're going to cook this week? He's teaching us to make bread, and he'll bring some soup for us to have with it. Great! Mr Bath won't be here next week, so Miss Dunner will show us how to make something. Who? How do you spell her name? She's my science teacher. It's D-O-N-A-G-H. OK. So, is it the same time as last year? Yes. School finishes at 3.30 and we all need time to get to the cookery room. So we'll meet at 3.45, like last year. Right. And how much is it? It'll be different every week, but not more than £4.50. This week, it's £3.75. Oh, OK. See you there. Unit 3. Grammar. Exercise 4. 1. How many apples are there in the bowl? There are a few apples in the bowl. 2. How much milk is there in the fridge? There's a little milk in the fridge. 3. How many flowers are there in the garden? There are a lot of flowers in the garden. 4. How many pictures are there in the hall? There are a few pictures in the hall. 5. How much meat is there on the plate? There's a little meat on the plate. 6. How many potatoes are there in the bag? There are a lot of potatoes in the bag. 7. How much jam is there on the bread? There's a little jam on the bread. Unit 3. Vocabulary. Exercise 4. 1. An omelette is made from eggs. 2. Rice is usually white or brown. 3. People usually make soup with meat or vegetables or fish. 4. Juice is nice to drink. 5. Salad is usually cold. 6. Chickens are a kind of bird. 7. Fish live in the sea or rivers and lakes. 8. Onions are round. Unit 3. Listening, Part 5. You will hear a woman on the TV talking about a new program for teenagers. Listen and complete each question. Sadly, that was the last Cook It Fast show. But don't worry, food lovers, there will soon be an exciting new show for teenagers called Hot Food. The show will include cooking and information about all kinds of subjects, such as healthy food and national dishes. In the first programme, young cooks tell us all about vegetables. They'll show us how to cook and grow them. But this won't be like a normal cookery show. The programmes are not filmed at the TV centre. We're making the programmes in schools. And we'd like you to call us with your ideas. We'll choose the best ones and then come and film you. So phone us on 0996 548 013 if you have any brilliant ideas for the programmes. Now get out your diary. This amazing new programme will be on Mondays. And on Tuesday evenings, you'll be able to chat to people from the show online. The first show's on the 28th of November, after you come home from school, from 5.15 until 5.45.
Write it down now. Now listen again. Sadly, that was the last Cook It Fast show. But don't worry, food lovers. There will soon be an exciting new show for teenagers called Hot Food. The show will include cooking and information about all kinds of subjects, such as healthy food and national dishes. In the first programme, young cooks tell us all about vegetables. They'll show us how to cook and grow them. But this won't be like a normal cookery show. The programmes are not filmed at the TV centre. We're making the programmes in schools. And we'd like you to call us with your ideas. We'll choose the best ones and then come and film you. So phone us on 0996 548 013 if you have any brilliant ideas for the programmes. Now get out your diary. This amazing new programme will be on Mondays. And on Tuesday evenings, you'll be able to chat to people from the show online. The first show's on the 28th of November, after you come home from school, from 5.15 until 5.45. Write it down now. Unit 4. Vocabulary. Exercise 6. 1. Do you play volleyball in a team? 2. I'd like to go cycling when we're on holiday. 3. Janie and Maria do aerobics every Monday evening. 4. You must throw the ball over the net. 5. How often do you train for the competition with your coach? 6. I won't be happy if we lose the match. Unit 4. Listening, Part 1. You will hear five short conversations. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the right answer. A, B or C. 1. Where is Jessie playing table tennis? Where's your sister, Robert? Jessie's playing table tennis with her friend Kate. They went after school. To Kate's house, you mean? That's right. And they're going to the sports centre to play volleyball after that. Now listen again. Where's your sister, Robert? Jessie's playing table tennis with her friend Kate. They went after school. To Kate's house, you mean? That's right. And they're going to the sports centre to play volleyball after that. 2. What does the girls' football team wear? Does your team wear black shirts like ours? With white numbers, yes. Our team wears nearly the same as yours, but our socks are white, not black. Oh, so you wear white shorts too? We do with a black number at the sides. Now listen again. Does your team wear black shirts like ours? With white numbers, yes. Our team wears nearly the same as yours, but our socks are white, not black. Oh, so you wear white shorts too? We do, with a black number at the sides. Three. What time is Henry's skiing lesson? Is your skiing lesson before or after mine, Henry? What time's yours, Dad? 8.45. Oh, well, mine starts half an hour later, at quarter past nine. You'll have to get up before me. Now listen again. Is your skiing lesson before or after mine, Henry? What time's yours, Dad? 8.45. Oh, well, mine starts half an hour later, at quarter past nine. You'll have to get up before me. 4. What is Mum's aerobics teacher doing this evening? 
Why aren't you at your aerobics class this evening, Mum? Our teacher can't do the class this week. Is she ill again? No, she's fine now. She's flying to Paris tonight because she's got a wedding there tomorrow. Now listen again. Why aren't you at your aerobics class this evening, Mum? Our teacher can't do the class this week. Is she ill again? No, she's fine now. She's flying to Paris tonight because she's got a wedding there tomorrow. Five. Where did Liz sell her football ticket? Liz, hi. Did you sell that football match ticket that you don't want? I just heard someone on the radio asking for tickets. Oh, I've sold mine. I put a poster up at my football club, and someone there wanted it. That's good. Yes, Dad advertised it online first, but no one called us about that. Now listen again. Liz, hi. Did you sell that football match ticket that you don't want? I just heard someone on the radio asking for tickets. Oh, I've sold mine. I put a poster up at my football club, and someone there wanted it. That's good. Yes, Dad advertised it online first, but no one called us about that. Unit five, grammar, exercise three. Last summer, Simon went with his family to camp in a tent near a castle in the mountains. It was a beautiful place, but as soon as they arrived, it started to rain, and it didn't stop for four days. During the day, they didn't do any activities because it was too wet outside, and at night, they didn't sleep because the wind and the rain were so noisy. On the fifth day. The man who lived in the castle invited them to stay inside the castle. After that, Simon and his family had a great time. They didn't mind the bad weather because they played games in the castle all day, and they didn't hear the rain and the wind at night. Unit five, listening part five. You will hear some information about a museum. Listen and complete each question. The Museum of Pop Music is the city's most popular museum for visitors aged 12 to 18, and its new address in Victoria Square has brought thousands more visitors to see its amazing collections. This month, the museum has a new exhibition. It's called Cinema. And it explores art and music from film, with hundreds of pictures, recordings, and videos. It's open from the 31st of October until the 25th of November. Don't miss it. The museum has also just opened a new fashion room. Here, you can see a large number of clothes worn by famous pop stars. Over the last fifty or sixty years, to make it easier for you to travel to the museum, why don't you come on the boat? Museum visitors can now buy special low-price tickets. It's much nicer than sitting on a bus. Ask about this at any transport office or online. Museum tickets for adults cost eight pounds fifty. But for children, it's just five pounds seventy-five. This includes young people up to the age of nineteen, but children under five go free. Now listen again. The Museum of Pop Music is the city's most popular museum for visitors aged twelve to eighteen, and its new address in Victoria Square. Has brought thousands more visitors to see its amazing collections. This month, the museum has a new exhibition. It's called Cinema, and it explores art and music from film, with hundreds of pictures, recordings, and videos. 
It's open from the 31st of October until the 25th of November. Don't miss it. The museum has also just opened a new fashion room. Here, you can see a large number of clothes worn by famous pop stars over the last 50 or 60 years. To make it easier for you to travel to the museum, why don't you come on the boat? Museum visitors can now buy special low-price tickets. It's much nicer than sitting on a bus. Ask about this at any transport office or online. Museum tickets for adults cost £8.50, but for children it's just £5.75. This includes young people up to the age of 19, but children under 5 go free. Unit 6. Grammar. Exercise 4. 1. Journey C is longer than Journey A. 2. Journey A is the shortest. 3. Journey B is further than Journey C. 4. Journey A is the longest. 5. Journey B is cheaper than Journey A. 6. Journey A is the most expensive. 7. Train B is older than Train C. 8. Train C is the newest. Unit 6. Vocabulary. Exercise 3. 1. How do you usually travel when you go on holiday? We usually travel by train. 2. Do most students walk to your school or do they go by bus or car? Most go by car. 3. Which airport do people in your town fly from? They usually fly from Barcelona Airport. 4. Can 10-year-olds drive cars in your country? <laughs> no, of course they can't. 5. Does anyone in your family ride a motorbike? Yes, my uncle rides one. 6. How long does it take for a ship to sail around the world? I don't know. How long? About three months, I think. Unit 6. Listening, Part 2. Listen to Marcia talking to her friend Josh about taking the school bus. Where does each person catch the school bus? Write a letter, A to H, next to each person. I'm going to start taking the school bus next week, Josh. Where should I catch it? I catch it from Hill Street. After the railway bridge, there's a roundabout and my bus stops there. Right. Does Michael catch it there? He lives near you. No, his mum drives him into town. She works at the motorbike shop, but leaves her car in the car park in George Street. Michael catches the bus there. Right. David gets on at the bus stop in New Street by the bridge, the one that crosses the river. Oh, yes. I can catch it there too. Who else goes on the bus? Ellen. She lives opposite the cinema, so she catches the bus at the tram stop near there. What about Katie, Ellen's neighbour? She doesn't like crossing the busy road to the tram stop, so she uses the stop next to the traffic lights behind the station. Oh, yes. Tom gets the bus, too, at the crossing near the supermarket car park. I know. Thanks, Josh. Now listen again. I'm going to start taking the school bus next week, Josh. 
Where should I catch it? I catch it from Hill Street. After the railway bridge, there's a roundabout, and my bus stops there. Right. Does Michael catch it there? He lives near you. No, his mum drives him into town. She works at the motorbike shop, but leaves her car in the car park in George Street. Michael catches the bus there. Right. David gets on at the bus stop in New Street by the bridge, the one that crosses the river. Oh yes, I can catch it there too. Who else goes on the bus? Ellen. She lives opposite the cinema, so she catches the bus at the tram stop near there. What about Katie, Ellen's neighbour? She doesn't like crossing the busy road to the tram stop, so she uses the stop next to the traffic lights behind the station. Oh yes. Tom gets the bus too at the crossing near the supermarket car park. I know. Thanks, Josh. Unit seven, grammar, exercise four. Peter is always hungry in the afternoon at school. He should eat more at lunchtime. Peter often forgets what his homework is. He should write it down in a diary or notebook. On rainy days, Peter's sweater is always wet. He should wear a jacket. Peter wants to play tennis better. He should take some lessons. Peter is always tired in the morning. He shouldn't go to bed late. Peter's sister is angry with him. He shouldn't borrow her things without asking. Unit seven, vocabulary, exercise three, one. Hassan only has lessons at school in the morning. Two. Hassan studies fourteen different subjects at school. Three. A man called Mr. Ali teaches Hassan maths. Four. Hassan spends about two hours a night doing his homework. Five. Hassan has only missed one day of school this school year. Unit Seven, Listening Part Five. You will hear a music teacher talking about her lessons. Listen and complete each question. I'm here to tell you about my after-school music lessons at Hill Road School. I'm Mrs. Sweet. I know some of you can already play the violin because you learn it in music lessons at school, and I've seen you playing in the school orchestra. But if you'd like to try something else, you can learn to play the guitar with me. I have a class of ten students, and we have lots of fun. School orchestra practices on Mondays. And I think it's good for you to have a rest on Tuesdays, so you can come and play more music at my lessons on Wednesdays, starting at four o'clock. We meet for the lessons in room fifty-eight. That's the big room opposite art room seven. If you come, you must buy the book I use so you can practice at home. It's called Play Well. And you can buy it at Music Now. My lessons aren't expensive because you learn in a group of ten. Each student pays just twenty-two pounds eighty a month, so it's five pounds seventy a week. Okay. Now listen again. I'm here to tell you about my after-school music lessons at Hill Road School. I'm Mrs. Sweet. I know some of you can already play the violin because you learn it in music lessons at school, and I've seen you playing in the school orchestra. But if you'd like to try something else, you can learn to play the guitar with me. I have a class of ten students, and we have lots of fun. School orchestra practices on Mondays. 
and I think it's good for you to have a rest on Tuesdays, so you can come and play more music at my lessons on Wednesdays, starting at four o'clock. We meet for the lessons in room fifty-eight. That's the big room opposite art room seven. If you come, you must buy the book I use so you can practice at home. It's called Play Well, and you can buy it at Music Now. My lessons aren't expensive because you learn in a group of ten. Each student pays just twenty-two pounds eighty a month, so it's five pounds seventy a week. Okay. Unit Eight, Grammar, Exercise Four, One. He didn't stop laughing while he was watching the cartoon. Two. She dropped the bowl on her foot while she was putting fruit in it. Three. They saw the circus lorries in the street while they were walking to school. Four. He broke the light on his bike while he was trying to mend the wheel. Five. She was playing a computer game, so she didn't hear the phone. Six. We built a fire for the first time while we were camping. Unit eight, listening part two. Listen to Matthew talking to his friend Alice about courses his friends took while they were on holiday. Which course did each friend take? For questions one to five, write a letter A to H next to each friend. How was your holiday, Alice? Great. My course was really interesting. What did you learn? How to write stories and news articles. Really? Hmm. Maybe I should do a course on my holiday. Like Ahmet. He learnt to cook Chinese dishes on holiday. He wants to work as a food writer when he leaves school. Zina went to the same holiday camp as Ahmet, didn't she? Yes, but she chose a course which she didn't need to do lots of reading and writing for. She had a week of Spanish dancing lessons. <laughs> What about Zina's sister, Leah? She learnt to work with silver and made a beautiful necklace and earrings. I saw them yesterday. That's amazing. Is Mick on holiday? No, he just went away for two days because he had to come home on Monday to do a music exam. He did a windsurfing and sailing course at Lake Jarvis. Right. When does Ellie come home? Next week. She's done a short course on biology this week. It was all about water plants, and she loved it. Really. Now listen again. How was your holiday, Alice? Great. My course was really interesting. What did you learn? How to write stories and news articles. Really? Hmm. Maybe I should do a course on my holiday. Like Ahmet, he learnt to cook Chinese dishes on holiday. He wants to work as a food writer when he leaves school. Zina went to the same holiday camp as Ahmet, didn't she? Yes, but she chose a course which she didn't need to do lots of reading and writing for. She had a week of Spanish dancing lessons. <laughs> What about Zina's sister, Leah? She learnt to work with silver and made a beautiful necklace and earrings. I saw them yesterday. That's amazing. Is Mick on holiday? No. He just went away for two days because he had to come home on Monday to do a music exam. He did a windsurfing and sailing course at Lake Jarvis. Right. When does Ellie come home? Next week. She's done a short course on biology this week. It was all about water plants, and she loved it. Really. Unit nine. Grammar, exercise two, one. He's carrying his violin because he's going to play in a concert. Two. 
He's revising because he's going to do an exam tomorrow. 3. He's waiting in the street because a bus is going to come soon. 4. He's finding his seat in the theatre because the play is going to start soon. 5. He's practising dancing because he's going to a disco later. 6. He needs a knife because he's going to cut the bread. Unit 9. Listening, Part 4. You will hear Neil talking to his friend about an art exhibition. Listen and complete each question. Maria, do you like this painting? It's brilliant, Neil. Did you do it? Yes. I'm going to put it in the Art Club's Young Artists exhibition. Great. Will the exhibition only be paintings? Or are there other things as well, like drawings or film? There are going to be a few photos in the exhibition too. Really? I must see it. When is it? In July, starting on the 24th and finishing on the 30th. Can you come? Yes. Where is it? At the college. The exhibition entrance is opposite the theatre. OK. Are you going to sell the paintings? Yes, but quite cheaply. We decided the most expensive price should be £30, but some of the small pictures will cost just £7.50, and we'll give all the money we get to our art club. That's good. And our teacher is going to give lessons at the exhibition. What about? She's a really good painter of people, but the subject she's going to teach at the exhibition is colour. So all sorts of artists will be interested. Now listen again. Maria, do you like this painting? It's brilliant, Neil. Did you do it? Yes. I'm going to put it in the Art Club's Young Artists exhibition. Great. Will the exhibition only be paintings? Or are there other things as well, like drawings or film? There are going to be a few photos in the exhibition too. Really? I must see it. When is it? In July, starting on the 24th and finishing on the 30th. Can you come? Yes. Where is it? At the college. The exhibition entrance is opposite the theatre. OK. Are you going to sell the paintings? Yes, but quite cheaply. We decided the most expensive price should be £30, but some of the small pictures will cost just £7.50, and we'll give all the money we get to our art club. That's good. And our teacher is going to give lessons at the exhibition. What about? She's a really good painter of people, but the subject she's going to teach at the exhibition is colour, so all sorts of artists will be interested. Unit 10. Grammar. Exercise 3. 1. She'll go to the lake with Nick if he doesn't have football practice. 2. If she goes to the lake, she'll need her swimming costume. 3. If she takes a picnic, she won't need to buy food in the cafe. 4. If she cycles around the lake, she'll feel tired. 5. If she sees some interesting animals, she'll take photos of them. 6. She'll put her camera in her bag if it starts to rain. 7. She won't take her rain jacket if the weather is good. Unit 10. Listening, part one. You will hear five short conversations. There is one question for each conversation. For each question, choose the right answer, A, B or C. 1. What was the weather like last winter? Look at the snow outside, Daisy. Wow! We can go skiing this weekend. Brilliant! We didn't ski last winter at all, did we? No, it was too wet. 
But there may be a lot of ice on the roads this weekend, so we may not go skiing. <sighs> Never mind. Now listen again. Look at the snow outside, Daisy. Wow! We can go skiing this weekend. Brilliant! We didn't ski last winter at all, did we? No, it was too wet. But there may be a lot of ice on the roads this weekend, so we may not go skiing. <sighs> Never mind. Two. Who will go for the birthday meal with Jade and her parents? Who's coming to the restaurant with us on your birthday, Jade? I asked three of my best friends, Mary, Kate, and Emma, but Emma can't come. Okay, and of course your brother will be with us, and you and Dad. Now listen again. Who's coming to the restaurant with us on your birthday, Jade? I asked three of my best friends, Mary, Kate, and Emma, but Emma can't come. Okay, and of course your brother will be with us, and you and Dad. Three. What happened during the storm last week? That storm was terrible last week, wasn't it? Yes, a tree fell across the river, and the water came up onto the road near our school. Was the school okay? Yes, but we had to walk there every morning until the water went away. Now listen again. That storm was terrible last week, wasn't it? Yes, a tree fell across the river, and the water came up onto the road near our school. Was the school okay? Yes, but we had to walk there every morning until the water went away. Four. What work does Eleanor do on the farm at weekends? Which farm do you work on at weekends, Eleanor? The one next to the horse riding school. Cool. They have thousands of chickens. Do you have to collect their eggs? I do, and my friend Sue sells them in the farm shop. Now listen again. Which farm do you work on at weekends, Eleanor? The one next to the horse riding school. Cool. They have thousands of chickens. Do you have to collect their eggs? I do, and my friend Sue sells them in the farm shop. Five. Where is Richard's MP3 player? Why are you using my MP3 player, Richard? Because mine's in Mum's car, and she's gone to see Grandma. Are you sure? I saw it in the kitchen this morning. I know, but I went to the library after that. Mum drove me home, and she's just texted me to say she found it on one of the seats. Now listen again. Why are you using my MP3 player, Richard? Because mine's in Mum's car, and she's gone to see Grandma. Are you sure? I saw it in the kitchen this morning. I know, but I went to the library after that. Mum drove me home, and she's just texted me to say she found it on one of the seats. Unit eleven, grammar, exercise three. Hi, Adam. What are you doing? I've just got home from my music lesson. Have you had dinner yet? No, not yet. I'm hungry. Do you want me to help you cook? No, I've already done it. I prepared the fish this morning and cooked it earlier this evening. Great. Let's eat. I'll put the knives and forks on the table. I've just done that a minute ago, but I haven't put any water or glasses on the table yet. Can you do that, please? Okay. Unit eleven. Listening Part Three. Listen to Christina talking to her friend Barney about her health problem. For each question, choose the right answer: A, B, or C. How are you, Christina? Not great. What's the matter? I've hurt my back at the top near my neck. It hurts when I put my arms up. Have you seen the doctor? Not yet, but I will. This morning. She's busy. I'm going tomorrow afternoon, so I won't be at school until Thursday.、Oh, 
how did it happen? I fell over after basketball practice yesterday. I walked home from school, and then it happened when I was going upstairs to our flat. Really? So, where are you now? At home, lying down. Not on my bed. In the living room, on the sofa. Mum's here, making lunch in the kitchen. So, what can't you do at the moment? Mum said no skateboarding, which I'm not happy about. But I can go swimming. It may help. I'm not going to my guitar lesson this evening, but that's fine. Would you like something to read? I've got some new books from the library about famous people. OK, but not film actors again. A pop singer's life? I prefer to read about a footballer or something like that. How about an amazing swimmer? Brilliant. Oh, thanks, Barney. Now listen again. How are you, Christina? Not great. What's the matter? I've hurt my back, at the top, near my neck. It hurts when I put my arms up. Have you seen the doctor? Not yet, but I will. This morning? She's busy. I'm going tomorrow afternoon, so I won't be at school until Thursday. Oh. How did it happen? I fell over after basketball practice yesterday. I walked home from school, and then it happened when I was going upstairs to our flat. Really? So, where are you now? At home, lying down. Not on my bed. In the living room, on the sofa. Mum's here, making lunch in the kitchen. So, what can't you do at the moment? Mum said no skateboarding, which I'm not happy about. But I can go swimming. It may help. I'm not going to my guitar lesson this evening, but that's fine. Would you like something to read? I've got some new books from the library about famous people. OK, but not film actors again. A pop singer's life? I prefer to read about a footballer or something like that. How about an amazing swimmer? Brilliant. Oh, thanks, Barney. Unit 12. Grammar. Exercise 3. 1. The first email was sent in 1971. 2. The first digital cameras were sold by a company called Logitech. 3. The first fridge was built by Jacob Perkins in 1834. 4. The first computer mouse was made of wood. 5. The first hairdryer was used by a French hairdresser. 6. The first text messages were written on the 3rd of December 1992. Unit 12. Listening, Part 2. Listen to Alice talking to her mum about finding things on the internet. What thing does each person want to find? For questions 1 to 5, write a letter A to H next to each person. Hi, Alice. Hi, Mum. Where's everyone else? Is Aunt Sarah here? She's on the computer with Dad. She's looking for a hairdryer that she saw on a TV advertisement. What about your dad? He wants a DVD. There's a special offer on that one about a photographer. He saw it at the cinema last year. Oh, OK. And your brother? Thomas is in his bedroom on his phone. He's trying to find a website where he can buy a cheap electric guitar. He wants to teach himself to play guitar. Really? And your sister? Annabelle's on her laptop. She's unhappy because our printer isn't good for photos, so she's looking for a new one. Which cousin came with Aunt Sarah? John. He's waiting to use the computer so he can look on the internet. He wants this new digital camera that takes amazing pictures and videos. Right. 
Is Grandma in her room? Yes. She's online on her TV. She's asked for a new laptop for her birthday and she's looking at them now. Right. Now listen again. Hi, Alice. Hi, Mum. Where's everyone else? Is Aunt Sarah here? She's on the computer with Dad. She's looking for a hairdryer that she saw on a TV advertisement. What about your dad? He wants a DVD. There's a special offer on that one about a photographer. He saw it at the cinema last year. Oh, OK. And your brother? Thomas is in his bedroom on his phone. He's trying to find a website where he can buy a cheap electric guitar. He wants to teach himself to play guitar. Really? And your sister? Annabelle's on her laptop. She's unhappy because our printer isn't good for photos, so she's looking for a new one. Which cousin came with Aunt Sarah? John. He's waiting to use the computer so he can look on the internet. He wants this new digital camera that takes amazing pictures and videos. Right. Is Grandma in her room? Yes. She's online on her TV. She's asked for a new laptop for her birthday and she's looking at them now. Right.